Good shot. Braced behind the barrels of these big shotguns are women who know what they want and how to get it. Good shot. They come to you and you're in within shot. It's game, girl. If two of you hit it, more meat on the table. They're brash, bold, and they balk at any belief that they are bound by a gender war. And my family being from the South, you know, I was supposed to be preparing the quail and pheasant tonight, not out hunting it. Good shot! The bees, as the babes, bullets, and broadheads call themselves, purposely pick the Double D Quail Preserve for this particular trip. It's a family-owned farm where professionals and amateurs can easily intermingle. What do you know about quail hunting? Nothing. I know nothing. This is the best place to come. It's very safe. They are very conscientious of all the safety that's required, and they're just good people. We have flat ground, we have hills, we have what we call a bowl. A lot of the avid hunters like to hunt the bowl because we get on the top and you can see where the birds are going and flying. Careful now, careful. The Double careful. D, operated by Debbie and Duane Briggs, is a 110-acre preserve where quail and pheasant are raised, the dogs are ready, and the only man allowed out with all these women is working for them. Bird. Ho, flush, flush, flush. Come here, here, here. Back in the day, there was really no need for a preserve. Birds were so plentiful, the sport of quail hunting was actually referred to as a gentleman's pastime. Times have clearly changed. I've hunted my whole life, and um, just it just is pretty much natural for me. Hope oh, here's, get ready, pheasant, pheasant, pheasant. Good shot. I'll take credit. <laughs> All right, we don't care. I don't care as long as it's on the ground. I don't care who got it. I find the safest thing to do is as you're told. When they say, Lee, it's your turn, step up and shoot, then that's what I do. The seasoned hunters often stand back and let the less experienced women take the first shot. And as they watch those women work the birds, there is someone else watching all of them. As much as I enjoy taking pictures of the women hunting out here, it's really getting me pumped up to get out here myself when I'm old enough and enjoy the experience. This teenager's words are a testament to the success of the trip and assurance for the bees that they have a rightful place in the lineage and heritage of future female hunts. I have gotten some tips from what they've done to help me when I get out here and it's just getting me ready for it. We try to put on hunts just for women to enjoy other women hunting as far as, as the men trying to tell them how to do it. You have other women teaching other women how to hunt. Usually they end up coming back. They'll end up bringing their husband and they come back, but they figure out that they, they should have left their husband and come back with the women. <laughs> Either way, everyone is welcome at the Double D. We're as country as cornbread as the saying goes. Our doors are always open. Women are constantly coming back and saying, hey, what's the next adventure? What are we doing next? It's no wonder other women want in on the action. Almost every hunt ends with a big harvest. I'm Annette Noel Hall on the Wild Side.